Hi, it's Logan from sleepopolis.com, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Tocta Utopia mattress. Now, Tocta is a really interesting company that specializes in making custom mattresses for RVs and trucks that might require different size beds. So I'm going to put the Utopia through a few different tests today and give some general recommendations at the end of the review. But if you are interested in a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep preferences, and I'll be sure to get back to you. I'm going to start out the review talking about the construction of the mattress, and I'll begin with the cover, which is a polyester and spandex blend. As you can see it's really stretchy here. You won't have to worry about it bunching up when you're rolling around on the mattress. Also, it's really thin, so it's gonna allow some airflow through it for temperature regulation and cooling. So now we've taken a look at the cover of the mattress, let's get a look underneath at the layers of it. The Tocta Utopia mattress is an all foam construction. Depending on how you customize it on the website, it can come in anywhere between four and 10 inches. Now the top layer or the comfort layer is actually a memory foam. It's really soft. You can see how easily it kind of gives into pressure for a pressure relief. A memory foam usually has a pretty slow response to pressure, but this is actually pretty quick. Memory foam gives you that kind of contouring feel as you sink into the bed. Uh, it can at times be known for trapping a little bit too much body heat, causing you to overheat in the middle of the night. But this layer actually has a gel infusion, which should help to draw heat away from the sleeper, help you sleep a little bit cooler. Now the layer below that is a latex foam. Latex foam has a really quick response to pressure, so this is gonna give you a little bit of bounce. Make sure you don't feel like stuck in the mattress or trapped in the mattress as you sink in for pressure relief. Uh, it's also good for uh, regulating body heat. Latex foam doesn't really trap any body heat, so it will dissipate that a bit. Now below that we have a firmer layer of polyfoam. This really acts as a transition layer from these softer layers up top for pressure relief into these firmer layers below. So these bottom three layers are actually all polyfoams getting uh, consistently firmer as they go down uh, for support. And finally at the base here we have a high density polyfoam really acting uh, as the foundation of the mattress, supporting the layers of foam above it and giving some deep compression support to the sleeper on top. Now that we've seen what makes up the Talk to Utopia, it's time to get an idea for the feel and firmness of the mattress. So first I'm gonna press into the cover. Now the first thing I feel is that gel memory foam top layer. It's really soft, so I'm able to press in really easily. On my back, as I'm lying here, I can kind of feel myself sinking in a little bit. It's filling in the space beneath my lower back, and I can actually feel that memory foam kind of contour around my back. There is a bit of a slow response to pressure, but I don't feel stuck in the mattress at all or anything like that. So as I change positions, get really close to the edge here. You now you can see that I am pressing through those softer top layers of foam. You know, that's to be expected with softer foams like this. A lot of foam mattresses do have issues uh, with uh, kind of compressing the edge here, not, not enough edge support. You know, the lower uh, layers we saw, those high density polyfoams hold up okay, but there is uh, some compression through the top layers. As I roll onto my side, you know, side sleepers tend to prefer softer mattresses because of that higher weight concentration over lower surface area. It pushes you further into the mattress. You end up interacting with the firmer support portions of a mattress and that can cause issues with pressure, uh, especially at areas like the shoulders and hips. We see a lot of side sleepers have issues there. We are gonna take a closer look at pressure later on in the review. I did just wanna give uh, an idea of how firm I thought this mattress is. In my opinion, it's about a five out of 10 on the firmness scale, so that's pretty soft. I feel pretty good here on my side. Uh, I don't feel any pressure points forming at my shoulders or my hips. So if you are a side sleeper, I think the Utopia would be a pretty good option for you. So I'm gonna roll onto my stomach here. You know, kind of the opposite of side sleepers. Stomach sleepers tend to prefer firmer mattresses to keep their hips from sinking in, keep their spine aligned in a good position. Uh, so like I said, in my opinion, the Tocta Utopia is a little bit softer, so I do feel my hips sinking in a little bit. Tocta does have a few other mattresses that will be a little bit firmer, so if you are a strict stomach sleeper, you might wanna take a look at some of those. Um, but, you know, I might find this mattress a little bit softer, uh, but everyone can feel firmness a little bit differently because of different sizes and weight distributions. So for reference, I'm about 5'10", 190 pounds. If you would like a wider variety of opinions on the firmness of the Talk to Utopia and a little bit deeper description on the feel of it, you can check out the written review at sleepopolis.com. 
Instead of just describing the feel of the talk to Utopia to you, I'm going to give you a visual representation of where pressure points might form while lying on the mattress. So I've laid out this pressure map on top and I'm going to lie down on it in a few positions and you'll see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. So let's start on my back. So I wanted to give you a quick idea of the bounce of the Talk to Utopia. So I have this 10 pound seal ball, I'm dropping it here. As you can see, there's not a ton of bounce. There's some quick response to pressure from that latex layer beneath the memory foam, but it's not an especially bouncy mattress in my opinion. And while we're here, we're also gonna run a quick motion transfer test. Basically, I have a seismometer on one side of the bed where someone might be sleeping, and it's gonna read the disturbance transferred across the mattress as I drop this ball from heights of four eight and 12 inches. Those drops are gonna simulate someone kind of getting into and out of bed or rolling around in the middle of the night. Now that we have the results up on screen, you know, in my opinion, uh, these are pretty good results. You can see there is this like steadily increasing disturbance that's transferred from the four to the eight to the 12 inch drop. That's to be expected. But you know, when compared to other foam mattresses I've tested, these are pretty good results. Uh, the memory foam does a really nice job of kind of dampening that motion transfer, helping to isolate that motion. So if someone rolls around in the middle of the night, you shouldn't worry too much about feeling it on the other side of the mattress. A lot of people buying a mattress are going to want to know if they're going to feel like they're sitting on top of or sinking into bed. So to give you a better idea of how far into the talk to Utopia you'll go, we set up our sinkage test in which we use four balls of varying sizes weights and densities, simulate different body parts and check to see how much they compress the top of the mattress. So you have this six pound medicine ball, it's filled with sand, simulates the lighter body part. This 10 pound steel ball, it's the densest ball we use during this test. 50 pound medicine ball, it's also filled with sand. So it's kind of a heavier portion of your body. Finally, on the left here, we have this 100 pound medicine ball. It's filled with sand. If you're a bit bigger, so it's kind of the center of your body. And in terms of sinkage, we have a little over an inch for this six pound medicine ball. Uh, about two inches for the 10 pound steel ball, four inches for the 50 pound medicine ball, and five and a half inches for the 100 pound medicine ball. These are pretty average results in terms of how far into the mattress they sink. A little, uh, you know, lower than normal, uh, and, you know, excuse me, less sinkage than normal for the 100 pound medicine ball over here on the left. Uh, so, all in all, with the kind of quicker response to pressure from that memory foam than you're used to seeing out of memory foam, uh, the latex layer beneath that giving you a little bounce and kind of this average sinkage into the uh, Talk to Utopia, I would say you don't really have to worry about kind of feeling stuck in the mattress too much. Just to give you some basic information about the Talk to Utopia, there is a 100 night trial period, a 10 year warranty, and shipping is free and it will arrive compressed in a box. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about Takta's customization possibilities. Now, the Takta Utopia does come in standard sizes, full, queen, king, that sort of thing. However, there are options for uh, different sizes and heights. Uh, you're also able to kind of cut in different corners, rounded edges, that sort of thing, depending on what size you need. Uh, you know, the process and measurements you need to take that are all listed on Takta's website, and they have a step-by-step -step process to walk you through that. Um, because of the customized nature of all the Takta mattresses, each one is made to order, but Takta does say that you should receive your order in two weeks or less. Now, some of the reasons I would definitely recommend the Takta Utopia is if you're looking for the memory foam feeling but don't want to feel stuck in the mattress, you know, I did get that feeling of sinking in for pressure relief, some of the contouring around my body. However, it does have the memory foam layer here does have a quick response to pressure than a lot of memory foams I've seen. And also the latex layer beneath that gives you some bounce, defends against stuck feeling, allows you to change positions without too much struggle. Now I would also recommend this mattress to side sleepers. As I mentioned before, I found this mattress to be pretty soft, allowing me to sink in for pressure relief. We saw a good uh, outcome on the pressure map portion of the review. One thing I will say about that though, is because of the ability to customize different heights of the Utopia, you might wanna be careful if you're gonna get a four, five, six inch, that sort of thing on the height. As you are a side sleeper, you're gonna push further into the mattress. You might push through those thinner uh, 
versions of this mattress. And finally, I would definitely recommend this mattress if you need a custom shape mattress for an RV, a truck, any reason like that. The customization process on the website is really easy. You should definitely check it out. Now, some people I might not recommend this mattress to is if you are looking for a bouncy mattress. The latex layer does defend against feeling stuck in the mattress, but it doesn't provide that same bounce you might be expecting out of kind of a traditional inner spring mattress or anything like that. And also, I would not recommend this mattress to stomach sleepers as it is really soft. When I was on my stomach, I could definitely feel my hips sinking in. If you are a strict stomach sleeper, you might want to check out some of Takta's firmer options. Now those are some general recommendations, but if you are looking for a personal recommendation, please feel free to leave a note in the comment section below with some information about yourself and some of your sleep preferences, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, if your mattress buying search has just begun, please Google Sleepopolis and Mattress Buying Guide. It's gonna have a ton of information in there that's gonna help you understand what you should be looking for in the perfect mattress for you. And finally, please subscribe to the Sleepopolis YouTube channel as we're gonna keep putting out more content that's going to help you get a better night's sleep. So that's it for the review today. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day.